O oh God, until when will I continue to suffer in this village? Wasn't your word saying that you were helping your children who will be in need? Oh, please, Lord, do me the favor of becoming someone in my life. Please come to my rescue. Do not abandon me, because I have put all my trust and esteem in you. Father, bless me so that I can help my parents and the people around me. And it was in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I took and brought. As I was telling you, I would really like to have my nephew come to our house so that he can continue his studies. What? Are you sure it's a good idea and that he would be a good fit in our house? Yes, I honestly think it is a good idea because this child is very wise and very intelligent. Without lying to you, I really want to take him on my wings and give him a chance. Okay, my wife, if you want it, I want it too. I am ready to accompany and support you in all your decisions. Oh thank you so much my husband, I am very happy to hear that from you. And you're welcome, my wife is normal. As I was telling you, your aunt had just told me that you would come with her to the city to continue your studies. I am really giving glory to God for that. Oh, great. Very good news. I really bless God that she could say that. Now I can't wait to go live with her. All right, my son. You know how to get there. Above all, do not abandon Christ. Always continue to pray and meditate on God's word as you always do here. It is by doing this that you will succeed in your studies and that you will very quickly obtain all your diplomas. All right. Thanks so much for the advice, Mom. I promise you that I will never abandon God for anything in the world. Okay, my son. It's great and I trust you. All right. Thank you so much, Mom. Father, I thank you and thank you. Thank you so much, really, for listening to the sound of my voice and for giving me the desires of my heart. Thank you for touching my aunt's heart about my subject. May all the glory be yours, Lord, forever and ever. Amen. As I said, I am so happy that my sister was able to accept my request. I am so happy for you too. Your nephew will be able to come and live with us and continue his studies. Obviously, I would like so much for him to succeed and for him to be able to help his parents get out of precariousness. Okay, my women, it will be done by the grace of God. All right, darling. As I was telling you, I came to pick up Amberwise. Thank you, really, sister, for being there for me. Thanks for helping us out. Oh, you know, it's because your son works. He is so adorable and I really like him. I want to give him a chance so that he can succeed in life and that he can finally help you. All right, my sister. One thousand thanks again for this initiative. Oh, you're welcome, my sister. It is normal. There are big schools. I promise you that I will take care of him so that he can get all his degrees and that he can find a good job afterwards. All right, sister. In any case, I trust you. So are you happy, Amberwise, to follow me? Yes, and I am so happy to follow you. Without lying to you, I could never think that you would have accepted the fact that I could come and study with you. Oh, that's normal my son. Don't worry, we are going to help you become someone in this world. All right, and thank you so much. Jesus for everything is well done. Oh Lord Jesus, in your hands, I entrust my son to watch over him so that nothing bad happens to him, and that all the glory goes to you forever and ever. Amen. Wow, this house is very beautiful. Yes. It is very beautiful. It is the result of hard work. Only work pays off, son. Evidently. In any case, it shows, work really pays off. And yes, my nephew. But why would my spiritual master want to see me? I absolutely have to go see him tonight, because I absolutely don't want anyone in this house to know that I had a spiritual teacher. Great, my wife is working tonight. The field is clear. I will be able to go there quietly without anyone knowing. 
I could never imagine that I would live in a house like this one day. This house is so beautiful. It really has everything in it. Oh Lord, I want you to come and take control of this house. Come and stay with me in this house. Come and reveal to me, Lord, all hidden things that I do not know. May your angels invade and protect me so that nothing bad happens to me. It was in the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Amen. Now everyone is sleeping in this house. I will be able to slip away quietly and go see my spiritual master. I hope he had good news for me. Come on, let's go. But what is that weird noise I hear in the bathroom? Aren't they all supposed to rest overnight in this house? Well, I'll go to the bathroom quickly anyway and I'll be back. Well, I'm leaving. I hope my wife doesn't arrive before I arrive. But what are you doing here, Ambroise? I just wanted to go to the bathroom. Okay. You know, I was just going to a costume party. Oh yeah. Are you sure you are going to a costume party with this outfit? Yes, yes, my nephew. Speak softly, softly, otherwise you risk waking up the girls who are already sleeping. Okay, that works. Good evening to you then. Thank you, very good night, and see you later. See you later. Very strange what I had just seen. I could not imagine that this man dressed up like that to leave the house in the middle of the night. Incredible, however, what I had just seen. I honestly think there's in something under the rock. In any case, the future will prove us what is going on. He got me. This time he did not allow me to pick up what I needed to pick up before going to my spiritual master. I will show him very soon. For you to continue to maintain wealth, you will have to act with all your two daughters. What? I am very sorry master, but this time I could never do what he asked me to do. And if you don't, I promise you'll lose everything you currently have. You have to figure out how to get to sleep with them before they can leave your house and get married. I promise you that if you don't do that, your life will be in danger. Okay, got it. I will try to do my best to be able to achieve what you asked me. Perfect, my friend. You got it all figured out. Come on, see you later. Yes, see you later. This case is really starting to get beyond me. My wife is not even aware of what is going on, and I don't even know how to tell her that. We still have to keep our wealth for our offspring. It is very simple. The strategy that I am going to put in place. I am going to have them all on their birthday, add some alcohol in the drinks and that's it. I have to do everything I can to achieve what my master had just asked me to do. You know, I don't understand why your dad doesn't like to see us talking to each other. Honestly, I too don't understand why he starts shaking hands when he sees us together. However, you seem like a good person. Thanks to you, I started reading God's words hallelujah. Hosanna giving all the glory to the Lord God for that. Amen. Ah, I forgot, Dad told us that he was going to organize a big party for our birthdays which will come very soon. Ah, okay. And you used to do that when I hadn't been in this house yet. Yes, but this time, he told us that it would be exceptional, that we would be allowed to drink alcohol and invite all our friends to the house. Alright. I think it's a bit odd though. Alright. In any case, I can't wait to celebrate my next birthday. Okay Zadig. Thank you so much for the instructions you just gave me. I am exactly going to organize this party, as you told me earlier, so that same evening, I would go into action with my first daughter in order to renew our wealth and our influence around the world. Perfect. You totally understood everything. I think that by doing that, this party would be a great success. Perfect. Come on girls, hope you're hot for tonight's party. Yes mom, I can't wait to celebrate my big sister's birthday tonight. Okay, my daughter, be good because I won't be able to stay with you all day because I have to go to work. Okay mom, got it. I am so proud of you, big sister. Thank you so much little sister. Thanks always for being there for me. Oh you're welcome big sister. It is normal. Today is today. 
tonight. Everything will be played because I don't want to go back. I absolutely have to do something with my big daughter in order to be able to maintain our wealth and our social status. Come on, let's go. I'm going to join them. Well, I have to get to this birthday. Tonight, I won't drink a drop of alcohol so I can watch my cousins and their friends. Because it's often on birthdays that people hurt their friends. Come on, without further ado, I'm leaving. Come on my girl, how is the dance today? Yes, Dad, thanks for organizing such a big party for me. Oh you're welcome my daughter, that's normal. And why are you in this condition? What exactly is happening to you? Oh Dad, it was because I have had too much drinks. All the alcohol was too strong tonight. Okay, my daughter. Don't worry, I'll drop you off quietly at home before the others join us. Okay, Dad, that would make me very happy because I feel very tired. I really need to rest so I can recover well. Okay, my daughter. Let's go, let's go. Yes, let's go. Don't worry my daughter, it's going to be fine. Okay, Dad, thanks for always being there by my side. You're welcome my daughter. It is normal. Oh, I forgot my phone at home. I absolutely have to go get it. Here, here. How can this dad leave this party like that without even telling us anything? How can he bring his daughter home in the middle of the show? I feel deep down that this is not normal. I really have the impression that my cousin is in danger. I will quickly go home to see if my cousin was already feeling better and that she would come back to the party venue again. I hope that everything goes well there for them. When I go back tomorrow morning, the girls will tell me a bit about what happened last night. Come on, let's go, I'm going to join my work colleagues. Did you see how well the bed was set up for you tonight? Yes, Dad, thank you so much for thinking about all these details. You're welcome my daughter, that's normal. Is making you feel comfortable. I will be back. Okay, Dad. Alright, I'm ready. I quickly went to join her in the room. Come on presto, let's go. But dad, what exactly do you want from me? Please let me rest easy in my room. Do you think I'm going to let you rest easy like that? Today is your day. Let me do what I want to do discreetly because I have no time to lose at all. But no dad, let me rest easy tomorrow we'll talk about it again. Are you saying that to me? But no dad. Let me rest easy tomorrow we'll talk about it again. Ouch, ouch. You've hurt me. You haven't seen anything yet. Lie down right away so I can do what I need to do. I would never allow that in my life. What do I hear like that? What is just happening to my cousin? I will quickly go to see her, because she was not in the habit of screaming like that in this house. I don't want to. I said it's forced that I have to do something with you. It is forced, my daughter, otherwise it would cost us our social standing. As for me, I am not ready to lose all our wealth. Help. Come and save me. My dad wants to do something with me. I was really shocked at what I had just heard. How can a dad want to know his daughter? Honestly, I am really outraged. I could never imagine they're coming from him. What are you talking about now? Already, what are you looking for? Outside my daughter's door? I have all your daddy time. I'm going to report you to your wife. I promise you that if you ever did that, you would regret it for the rest of your life. Because just right away, all your studies will be stopped and you would go back to the village afterwards. To uncle it is no good what you're doing. God don't like it. I promise you that I will report you to your wife. How could you want to do something like that with your own daughter? Are you normal? What is really going on in your head? It's not your problem, son. This is my home and I have the right to do what I want in this house. If you don't keep your mouth shut from what you just heard, you'll see what I'll do to you in this house. Well, I have said enough. Please don't say anything to my mom, because I don't want to create problems in my family. I think my dad drank too much alcohol, that's why he behaved like that tonight. Oh no, I don't think so. Imagine if I hadn't forgotten my phone at home, 
it would have made a lot of noise without anyone coming to your rescue. Honestly, I am disgusted and I don't know what to do anymore. Please don't really tell anyone. Your life is in danger, cousin. I don't want anything bad to happen to you. Well, I'm going to go in my room. Perfect. Here is a bit of what I wanted to tell you. It was really terrible what I heard and saw the last time. I am very surprised because that is not at all what my husband said to me. You were the one who was harassing another girl instead and he caught you in the act. No, not Ant at all. I could never do that to my cousin. You know what? I believe in my husband a lot more. Shut up but my daughter confirmed to me that you kept them all the time so you could do something like that with her. I would never in my life be able to do something like this. I had just told you the truth. Afterwards, you are free to choose which one you want to listen to. Well, I'm leaving. Alright. You know what? As of today, I don't want to see you in this house anymore because I don't want you to impregnate my daughters behind my back. I've talked enough now. Good luck to you. Go look for other girls outside my house and leave me alone with my girls. Okay, I got your message. I prefer to walk in the truth than to continue living a lie, even if it means losing everything and starting from scratch. Well, I'm going to join my mom in the village. I am happy to carry my cross and to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible declares that you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. I pray that this house will know the truth one day and that it will recognize that I told the truth that day. Let your name be high. Eternal, armies to the ages of centuries. Amen. Well, I'm leaving this house. It's not a big deal what happened. My son, I believe in you and I know that you cannot lie to me. Let God just do the work. Okay mom, I am very happy that you are comforting me. Because there, no one believed me in this story. I take your word for it my son. I know that you are a person with the right and that you don't play with certain things. May the Lord help you rebuild yourself, my son. Okay, mom. Come on, I'm going to the fields to cultivate the land a bit. Alright, my son. Good luck to you and see you later. Thanks a lot, mom. See you later. Well, the field is free now, I will be able to do what I want to do with my daughters. Mom, I can't stand what's going on right now in the house. My daughter. What happens in the house almost every night? In the late night, Dad is harassing me all the time and really wants to do something with me. What? Are you sure what you're saying? Yes, Mom, it's not just me. There is also my 18-year-old younger sister who is also harassed by our dad. What? But why was it that I wasn't aware of that in the house? I don't know Mom at all. Very awful, he comes to harass us when you work at night. Without lying to you, I and my sister are genuinely tired of him. Mom, we tell him everything, but he doesn't want to understand. He absolutely wants to destroy our virginity. We've said it several times already. We will never let that happen because you had always taught us that this was only for our husband. Exactly, my daughter, you did very well. So the story that Ambrose told me was true. Yes, mom, I really want to apologize for that, because it was totally true. He caught us arguing once because of it. And why hadn't you said anything to me all this time and supported him? He had clearly told me that if I said that he would remove me from his children. But right now, I am ready to be written off and leave the house because I can't get enough of this harassment. I prefer to take my sister and get away from him because I am afraid he will hurt one of us one of these days. Oh! Thank you very much my daughter for having the courage to confide in you me I promise you that I will fight for you. I will never abandon you. You're welcome mom, because I honestly couldn't take it anymore. I will try to work things out with him and I will let you know later. Okay, okay, mom. As I was telling you, it was my spiritual master who asked me do it. But why was it that I was not aware of all this? Honestly, you're going to have to forget about our two girls, because they'll never do anything like that with you. I don't give a shit about wealth. 
I would rather live with dignity with my two daughters in a cave than to live in abundance in the midst of suffering. It is not the star in the destiny of my daughters that you are going to sacrifice so that my two daughters are spared from your dirty stories. And if you ever try to harass them again, we'll take this matter to court. I'm going home. Goodbye. My daughters betrayed me and I am completely screwed. I honestly don't know what I'm going to say to my master. He still told me that if I didn't do that, that I would pass from life to death. I have to do everything I can to get out of this country before it's too late. Come on, let's go. I am going to quickly get a plane ticket booked and flee this country as soon as possible. Oh my dear friend, you cannot leave this country. In a few days, I will gladly deliver your spirit to my master, so that you can pay the price for the wealth I gave you. That is all. I have already purchased my ticket. Tonight I will leave this country without fear. It is perfect. Mission accomplished. As I was telling you, I came especially for you, to ask for your forgiveness. I admit that I did bad things to you. I really should have listened to you so much. It's not a big deal. I put everything that had happened into the hands of the Lord. May God bless him and keep his soul from the flames of hell. Because I really hope that he repented before he had this accident. I really hope so too, Amberwise. You know, just to make amends, I'll pay for all of your tuition until you finish college and get a job. Oh hallelujah, Lord, may your name be exalted and magnified forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you Lord for standing up for me and for bringing me justice. Thank you for always being next to your children and for never giving up on them. May your name be mightily glorified and exalted forever and ever. Amen. Since Dad left and we became attached to God, our lives have changed dramatically. Exactly, big sister, I feel inner peace again. Hallelujah. And let's give all the glory back to the Creator. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the Word of God declares in 1 Timothy 2 verses 15 Do not love the world or the things that are in the world. If someone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For everything that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, does not come from the Father, but comes from the world. And the world goes by, and so does his lust. But whoever does God's will remains forever. God bless and protect you, friends. Brothers and sisters, that's it all for this video. If you like this video, feel free to like it comment and share around you so that many souls be saved and restored. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you.